Now let's perform async actions inside our React application using Redux. So before that, let us recap what we have done in our JavaScript application. Before writing entire logic, first we should understand entire flow of this application. We should understand what is the structure of reducer, what is the structure of state and what is the structure of action. Let us start with a state and we already know state is an object inside which we are going to pass properties and values. And whenever we are fetching some data from API, inside the state we usually have three properties. So first is loading flag. Initially, inside this initial state, we are going to set the value as false. And once we start fetching the data, we are going to change the value to true. And if you are having loading spinner in your component, then you can easily display that spinner to user. Then second property, we are going to give products and initial value we will set as empty array. Why? Because initially we will not have any data because our data is fetched in the background. So that is the reason initial value of this products will be empty array. And inside this, we are going to store all the products name which we are getting from API. Then finally, we are having error property. Initially, we are not going to have any error. First, we will start fetching the data. And while fetching the data, if we are having any error, only then we have to display the error. So initially, we are not going to have any error. So simply, we will assign the value as false. And using this, if we are having some error, we can easily display error message to user. This is how state will be represented in our application. Then we are having action and inside this we can define three action. First action type can be fetch request to fetch products from API endpoint. Then second and third action type depends on this first action. If the data is fetched successfully, we are going to use this fetch success. If we are having any error, then we are going to use this fetch error and accordingly display error message to user. So these are the three action types which we are going to define inside our actions. Then finally, we are having reducer. So for each and every action type, we should be performing different action and in return, we should be returning our next updated state. So first action was fetch request. Inside this, our loading will be set to true. Why? Because initially, we are going to fetch the data. We have not received any data. So once we start our fetch request, we are going to set our loading to true. If we are having any loading spinner or if you want to display any message to user, like data is getting loaded, you can simply display that message to user as an indication that data is being fetched from the API. Then we are having fetch success. If the data was fetched successfully, then for this products property, we are going to assign the value as data. And this data is nothing but data which we have got from API. And once the data is received successfully, we are going to set our loading to false. Once we have any error while fetching the data, we are going to set our loading to false. We do not want to show any spinner. Instead, we want to set error to true. At this point, if the error is true, we want to display error message to user. So in this way, we are going to write the logic and update the next step. So once we are requesting, we are going to set loading to true. If the data is fetched, loading will be false. And whatever data we got from API, that data will be assigned to our products property. And if we are having any error, again loading to false and error will be set to true. And that error message we are going to display to the user. Coming back, same thing we are going to implement here. First step. Now this is another new feature 
So inside this Redux, I will be creating one folder. I will give the folder name as products. Now inside this, I have to create three files. I will write products actions.js. Then I will be writing products types.js. Then finally, I will be creating products reducers.js. And also, I have to display product title in my component. So inside this components, I will be creating one component folder product products container.js. And inside this products container, I am just going to write this snippet. After that, I will come to products type. And here, I just want to define three types. And all the types I have to use in other files. So I will be doing export const. Here, I am just going to write fetch request. This will be equal to string value of fetch request. I will copy two times. Here I will change to success. Copy this and here I will be pasting. Then finally I will change it to error. Copy and paste. I have defined three action types. Now what I have to do? I have to define action creators. I will come inside this products action.js. Inside this I will be creating my first action creator fetch request and this is going to return object and here I will give the type as fetch request. As soon as I select this, that type will be imported from products type and we will be using this action creator in other files. So here I have to write export. Same thing I will copy. Below this, I will be pasting. I will change the function name. I will write fetch success. Here, instead of fetch request, I will be writing fetch success that is imported from products type. And also, once my data is successful, I need that extra data. So, here I will be passing products. This entire thing we have already understood when we wrote the code for vanilla JavaScript. And here, that final product detail, I will be passing inside this payload property. Again, I will copy. Below this, I will be pasting. Now, here, I will write fetch error. Now, instead of writing this products, I am going to accept error. Here, I will write error. I will remove this fetch success. Instead, I will access fetch error. And inside this payload, I will just display the error which I will be getting while fetching from API. So successfully I have created three actions in which for fetch request I am giving this action type and inside this fetch success whatever data I will be getting from the API that data I have assigned to my payload and finally if I am having any error again that error I am assigning to my payload. and I have exported all the action creator. Now again, this action creators I have to export in index.js. I will come to index.js. So here I am just going to write export star which means I want to export entire thing what is available inside product actions.js. Then I will be writing products folder and inside that I will come inside this products action. So using this star, I have exported fetch request, fetch success and fetch error. So till now, we have defined the actions. We have created action creator and all the actions creator we have exported in index.js. Now let us start with the reducer. Inside reducer, first we have to define our initial state. Here I will write initial state is equal to it is an object. First, I will be giving loading property. By default, it will be false. Then, we are going to write this products property. Initially, we are not going to have any products. So, I will give empty array. And then, I will display error. 
initially i will not be having any error so for this also i am going to give false now successfully i have created my initial state now next i am going to start with my reducer const here i will write product reducer is equal to current state which will be equal to my initial state and action as its parameter inside this we are going to write switch and then using this action dot type we are going to check for the action types available in our application then here i am going to write the case first case is fetch request i will write return i will be returning new object come down then second case i will write fetch success again i will be returning new object then third case fetch error come down i will be returning new object then finally if no case is getting matched i will be writing default case where i am simply going to return my current state okay same thing whatever we have done earlier same thing we are repeating now inside this fetch request when my data is getting loaded first i will copy my entire state once my data is getting loaded i will just change the loading property to true then inside this fetch success first i am just going to copy my entire state now here my loading is set to true but once my data is fetched i do not want to show the loading spinner to user so here i will set loading to false and after that i am having products property inside my initial array for this whatever data i am having inside my payload i will access that data and i will just update my products property in my state and this action dot payload from here i am getting whatever products data i will be getting from api that will be assigned to this payload so using this action dot payload i am just getting that data and i am storing inside this products property from here default let me just remove this comma and finally inside this error first i will copy entire state then i will set my loading to false and after that i will set my error to true if you want to show any error message you can give empty array variable and that message will be passed to this payload and that will be displayed to the user but as of now i have given false and once i am having any error i have updated my error to true then i have to export this reducer copy below this i will write export default product reducer now in my application in total i am having three reducers pizza reducer burger reducer and product reducer so now this reducer has to be included in my store copy come to store.js and inside this we have passed root reducer so first what we will do we are going to combine this reducer below this i am going to give a key as product and for this i am just going to give my reducer name that is product reducer as soon as i select this product reducer will be imported from this reducers file so successfully we have combined the reducer and inside create store we have passed this root reducer where our product reducer is also available so now in my store i am having pizza reducer burger reducer and product reducer based on the actions what we have dispatched correct reducer will be picking the action and accordingly next updated state will be returned